Hey guys, Chris here. Today I have the Carbon Cork Trekking Poles by Black Diamond. These are really heavy duty premium materials they put in this. Uh, carbon fiber, super lightweight, all kinds of great things going on here. Look at the features and I'm going to take them out snowshoeing and we're going to find out if they're worth it. Okay, the Black Diamond Carbon Cork Trekking Poles, like I said, they are made with 100% carbon fiber, which is super lightweight and super durable at the same time. So it's a great combination to have in a trekking pole. It does come with the carbon, not the carbon, the cork. I'm getting my carbons and corks mixed up. The cork handle, look at that. It's got the rubberized top on it. This is great for when you're coming down. You got something to put your hand on like that. And the cork handle will actually, over time, it'll form to your hand. And I also just noticed uh, that on the wrist straps, they got a right and a left. So it'll it'll for if you keep it on the, the same hand it'll form to that hand over time it does have the foam extensions that come down so when you're coming down the mountain and you need to do a quick adjustment you got that as well very very comfortable material and it's very firm it's not real squishy and stuff so i, I really like this heavy duty wrist straps on it it just really easy let's put this down here take this and you pull it out to expand it pull this back in to shorten it up it's really easy to adjust there's no uh, compression straps or anything put your hand in there ready to go like that it, it expands out to I measured 49 inches or 130 centimeters uh, you don't want to go past the little stop here I would recommend kind of staying right in this range here. <clears throat> it does have a little window right there to see what where your numbers are. And then with the flick lock adjustabil adjustability here, click that. Look at that. That is super heavy duty. Expand that out. Click. And I found that these can be a little hard to work with, so maybe over time they loosen up. It did come with a little, a little teeny Allen wrench that would fit right in here. You can loosen that up and uh, see if you can get these to fold down even easier. But uh, it's, it's pretty, you can hear how loud that is when I click it. But that is just rock solid. It does come with the mud baskets. There you go. <laughs> And I have some snow baskets right here. These thread off. I really like that. The really, I've had trekking poles in the past where they slide on and then they turn and click. And those invariably just fall off on the trail somewhere. You look down and your snow basket or your mud basket has gone. But look at that. You can just twist that thing right on there. And that is my snow basket now. Look at that. There you go. So that'll keep that pole uh, when you're snowshoeing or skiing from going down too deep. It also has carbide interchangeable tips here. See that? And these are good for rocks and ice. And when you don't want the uh, tips, uh, they uh, you can uns you can unscrew them counterclockwise and remove them, or put the uh, stoppers on them like that. And then you can go. Now you're ready to go on the uh, sidewalk or through rocks and just have the rubber softer rubber tip. So that's very helpful as well. So a lot of little adjustments, a lot of little things you can do to get them to exactly. They fit the terrain that you're on, the conditions that you're in, and so they work uh, optimal. Is that the word? Op optimal? 
optimally. <laughs> so they get the job done. So here's the full length. And I'm going to measure that again. I got 40, 48 inches, but I'm not fully extended here. So let's go. Oh, there we go. There we go, right? There. So that's 49 inches. It says 51 in the specs, but that's because they're going beyond the stop point right there. But really a great pull. Real heavy duty. I've read a lot of reviews. People really seem to like them because they are very dependable. Not only are they lightweight, they weigh one pound, one ounce for the, for the set, but they're dependable. That's the one thing that you're looking for in a trekking pole, especially when you're crossing a creek, doing a creek crossing, or you're going down a steep slope with a full pack on, going through the rocks. Uh, so, you know, that's the one thing you need is dependability. I like them, and uh, they go for $169 uh, on REI, the uh, Black Diamond uh, online store, or Amazon. But I've seen them for a lot cheaper on Amazon. I saw them for $107 uh, about a week ago. So I would check, check all three of those and see what your best price is. That's, that's what I would recommend. So when they collapse down, watch how fast this is. Woot, woot, look at that. <laughs> that is um, 24 inches right there. 24 inches, yep. So two feet, so they're not the lightest, but one pound, one ounce is very light. They're not the smallest, but 24 inches is just fine. I've seen some that come down to 17 or even 18 inches, but the and the uh, straps have a uh, also have a little reflective uh, logo right there, so that's kind of helpful. But very cool, very durable. They're almost like something the military would use, especially with this military green going on here. Uh, I like them. Anyways, we're gonna take a look at uh, my little snowshoe trip where I was testing them out. Uh, in the uh, National Forest. I'm in the uh, Plumas National Forest of Northern California trying out these uh, Black Diamond Alpine Carbon Cork Trekking Poles and uh, give them a little bit of a test. Uh, we got some good snow here. It's been pretty wet and uh, it's a great day to do this kind of stuff. <laughs> from what I've read and from what I know, these have been really good, solid, durable trekking poles, real workhorses for uh, the trail. Got the uh, cork handles and the uh, carbon fiber uh, material on them so it makes them very light and very very strong. So they've uh, really shown to be a very durable product. So I'm giving them just a little test. Obviously the best way to test them is the long-term durability on the trail but we're having a little fun out here today. So. <laughs> 